So here's a look and some of my thoughts at the ColorPro Portable Monitor by ViewSonic. First things first, uh, the box that comes in, I have a few things by ViewSonic and their packaging is always really legit. Um, nice small compact box. And then everything that comes inside is you have three cables. Um, you have a USB-C to USB-C, uh, HDMI to HDMI mini, and another one which is a USB to USB-C. Um, other than that, you have a power adapter where you can plug it into the wall. And then you have also the um, hood that goes over the monitor. And I'll show you how that goes on in a little bit. So getting into it, I actually have it plugged into my MacBook right now uh, through USB-C. Um, I'll unplug that, show you what it's like, the different plugs that are on the end right here. So it's got two USB-C ports, an HDMI mini, and an audio jack as well. And then the power is on the other side right here. Um, and so plugging that in, I'll show you how, how that goes. You plug that in, when you plug it in, um, cut straight on, you don't even have to hit the power, it kind of recognizes it, and then it's pretty quick. So my main use for this right now is actually just an extra monitor on my desk. Um, it's pretty comparable to my MacBook monitor, um, it being OLED, um, the sharpness, the contrast, the brightness, um, looks very similar to my MacBook. It, it's, it's nice and high resolution. It's only 1080p um, compared to the MacBooks, a little less, but when you're looking at them, um, they look very similar. It's got a, it's got a good sharpness and a, a, nice, a nice bright screen. Um, I like it a lot more than an LCD screen, personally. Um, so the cool thing about this, a lot of the, the cool features is um, just the, the versatility of how it uh, sits here. Um, so you can you know, move it up and back. Um, it's got buttons here on the front for the, the different menu options to change the color settings. Um, it's actually got built-in speakers in the back, too. Um, it can also flip. The stand can do a couple different styles here as to where this sits just like this. Um, so you can set that just like that and it kind of creates like a little stand for it and it sits flat um, and also can go vertical. Um, you will need to um, change the orientation on whatever it's plugged into so that the image is showing up um, vertically but with the stand it can completely sit vertically, so you can use it as a vertical monitor as well. So it comes with a hood as well, which kind of also doubles as a protective case for the front, um, if you leave it on here. So it's got magnets all the way around, and you let those hook onto the back, and then the sides as well. And then just like that, you have a little hood for it. Um, for different uses with your outdoors, you just have a lot of different types of light. You want to block light. Um, it's got a flap, kind of make it stronger on the inside. Also, if you fold these in, fold the sides in, and then fold that down, ugh, magnets are a little finicky. Kind of creates a protective little front layer for it too. And then this folds in just like this, and it gets extremely compact, probably about as wide as a laptop when it's shut, and you can slip that into you know, your bag really easily can go, you know, that makes, that's what essentially makes it really portable right there is you can make it kind of slim, protected, um, only has to plug in through one thing. It gets powered by your laptop or, you know, whatever you're plugging it into. So this monitor also has a two way charging with two USB-C ports. Um, you can plug in the monitor through and whatever's powering it. You can also plug in a device like a phone or just anything like that from there and the other USB-C port and it'll charge um, your device through the laptop. Um, it's going through the monitor. So that two-way charging can be pretty beneficial too. A lot of times I run out of ports on my laptop to plug in things. If I have hard drives plugged in, a mouse plugged in, stuff like that, I'll, I won't have any more ports. And so this is a good way to add extra port for, for charging devices too. So like I said, it's pretty similar to the MacBook screen and I'll show you what it looks like side by side to that so you can get a kind of comparison um, to what those look like and how they compare. So overall, I think this is a really handy little monitor if you're kind of in the need of a, of a second uh, monitor, especially one that's portable, can go with you anywhere, plugs in really easy, has a lot of cool features, and it's versatile. I did get this from ViewSonic as a part of a campaign to help them create some content, um, but I've had a couple different items from ViewSonic, like I said, and I'm a really fan of all of their products, and I really like the company. Um, I think this is a good monitor, and I definitely uh, recommend it.